Hello and welcome back. Um, so what have we got today? So when um, me and Gaynor first met, and even before that, when I you know lived in northeast of England uh, in Middlesbrough with a uh, family, you know, they'd ask me if I want some soup. Gaynor would ask me, if, "Do you want soup tonight?" Soup. Do I want soup? I would want soup. Can I have something like chips or a nice burger or, <laughs> or a nice big bowl of pasta or something substantial like soup? But um, she she introduced me to beautiful soups, Italian soups, and some of them are substantial. But she um, she changed my view on them. She uh, yeah she brought a bit of, I think a bit of culture to my life. A bit of a philistine, okay. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So today, um, I'm just I'm just preparing um, what uh, well, what's called a balotti soup, a balotti bean soup. All you need for this: onion, garlic, uh, four cloves of garlic, four or five cloves of garlic, three medium-sized potatoes, cube chopped up. Obviously, uh, the garlic chopped and the onion chopped up, and a handful of tomatoes. Okay, you might need a few more than that when you've got small hands. So, um, yeah. So all I do um, is chop up the onion and the garlic, put them in the pan for five minutes, chop up the um, potato into chunks, um, the th three spuds. Shove those in and the tomatoes with some salt. Put them in for you know another five minutes. Then put the um, some um, stock in, a couple of cupfuls of stock, maybe a bit more. I like I like my soup thick, so I just sort of. Yeah. But um, I'm going to get back to the. But, but I am. Um, I come across a story. This is when I was 17 years old. I was working, um, you, all, you all heard of Monsanto, they're not very popular now for various reasons, and maybe rightly so. But so this was, you know, in the 1970s. And um, I, had a, I was an apprentice, and, and uh, this guy, he told me this story, and it still sticks with me. And it's, I loved it. When he told me, I thought, what a brilliant story. There's this farmer. Okay. This farmer's got his mates around. Just showing them around the farm, says, you know, this is the dairy and this is the pasture and the cows and the sheep and whatever other things farms have. And say, oh, look, that's, um, that's my little help. Young Billy, he's not very bright. He's not very bright. He's, yeah, he's a bit, uh... He says, look, I'll show you something. I'll show you. Watch this. So, Billy. So, Billy comes smiling. And um, he says, look, Billy, he says, I have 50p in this hand and 10p in that hand. Okay? And he looks at his mess, makes sure the watch. Okay? 50p, 5p. And he just closes his hands. Okay? 50p, 5p. And he says to, he says, Billy, now just point out, now, which one do you want? Of that one, he chooses the five p. We give him the five p, and the guy looks round and like nods in a. You know, there you go. You know, that's how silly he is. That's how stupid he is. You know, and um, one of the guys looks back at Billy. He goes back to Billy. Says, "Billy, here." He says, "Look." He says, "You saw the farmer put fifty p there. And you saw him put five p there." And you knew which hand they were in, and you went for the 5p. Why was that? Well, look, he says, if I went for the 50p, you'd never play the game again. <laughs> Brilliant. That's the so called fool. A fool doesn't live by normal rules. I sometimes do the tarot. 
Dana and I do the tarot. And there's one called, there's a card called the Fool. I wonder if you can see it very well. And I love the Fool. And and if you look closely at the Fool, see the Fool is, normally we say that a Fool is empty headed. Empty of what? I'll tell you what a Fool is empty of. They have a head that's empty of anxieties, of worries, of judgments, of criticisms. That's what their head is empty of. They're not what we think we are. Or they're, they're not what we think they are. We normally, in our culture, want them to be bright and, and intelligent and, and to know a lot, have lots of information. Oh, it just lots of information bores me. You can get information from books. <laughs> I'd rather be the fool. The fool is empty of past and future. If you look at this, look, see the, the bag, the, 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 the stick um, with the bag, that's his past. And he holds it lightly. It's not weighing him down. <laughs> He's light. A fool is light. That's why they smile. That's why they criticize a fool and it doesn't have much impact. Okay. I'll come back to it because there's... There's a lot in this. There's, um, but I just want to show you. So this is, I can't cook the whole meal like that in 10 minutes. So this is everything here all put in. Then what you do, so you've put the onions in, you've put the garlic in, five minutes. Chopped up all the potatoes along with the tomatoes, put those in, five minutes. Then put your stock in. I put um, about two to three um, cupfuls of stock. Then... When the potato is soft, you just mash it. And this is what gives this soup a lovely, like, thick texture. And it's a very, you know, I can't believe I'm talking about subtle, because I, I like <laughs> food. <laughs> but this is subtle, but I love it. We bo Both of us do. It's our go-to soup. And, um, I just use um, balotti bean, um, bought beans, I don't know you can quite see them. Just bought, I just use tin balotti beans. All you need is one tin. And remember, I put salt and pepper in. Okay, salt and pepper. Then, I'm already it out when it's, when it's mashed up, because the, the potato really gives it a lovely thick texture. Pour the beans in, get them in there, make sure you get, the, get them all out. And then I'll, I'll let them heat up a bit in there and I just, um, just want to finish my story. <laughs> and um, see if you look at this again, the fool. Can you see, can you see the dog? The fool is in touch, or he or she is in touch with their instincts. The dog represents the animal instincts. They're not scared of themselves. They're, in a sense, they're quite whole. And if you look again, the fool is on the cliff edge. They they're quite quite open to just taking risks. They're not full of fear. They're not risk averse. They're open. They're open hearted, empty headed, and open hearted. What a place to be! What a life! Just open. Just life, living. You know, see, many of us, we, we, we impede, we block our natural instincts, our intuitions, our natural instincts, our spontaneity. Because that's what life is. I'll tell you what life is. Every moment, 
spontaneously exploding into life. Boom, 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 boom. We don't see it like that, of course, but that's what's happening. So the, the, the fool is unconcerned about past, about future. They're at ease. If you criticize them, they, they, do, they don't accept it. It's just, whoop, gone. <laughs> gone. <laughs> so we, we need to be more fool-like. No, they're not a fool. Is not um, um, identified with their labels because they're empty. They're open. They're label free. We are not our labels. So a fool is free of all that. Isn't that something to be? Applaud is something to um, aspire to, to be to be a fool, <laughs> rather than being a clever, cynical, uh, you know, oh, give over, give over. <laughs> I'm just going to put some of this out just to show you um, what um, how to finish it off. Okay. I'm not going to pop much. I just want to show you. Now it's there. We are okay. Lovely. Um, Gain has um, educated me in presentations, so some nice balls and you know, nicely put out. And we're also we finish it off now. This you can put some fresh herbs on the top, but either and I've done this in one of the previous um, videos. Oh, by the way, guys, please subscribe, please share, and please like. Okay, just do, do that for me. Um, so there's that. This is the chili and garlic olive oil. Or this is rosemary. Just plant in some olive oil and left for a week. You can just drizzle it on the top, either one of them. Okay. Whichever you takes your fancy. <laughs> yeah, so we've had these here for um, a week or so now. But yeah, you know. Yeah, let's be more fool-like, less critical, less judgmental, less, less worrisome about what people think. You know, can we live a life where we try to achieve less? <gasps> we achieve less. And we're present, we're here, we're happy. My goodness, that's radical, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Achieve less, my goodness. Okay. Oh, one final thing. Um, at the bottom, you can put a nice slice of toasted bread, shibata or something like that, or just you know, just the everyday bread. Just and um, we, we tend to make our own and, and put it in our and some nice um, um, sourdough. Lovely. Just lay it on the bottom. Toast it. Lay it on the bottom. Thanks, guys. Please share for me. Thanks. Bye-bye.